This is Into Math Second Grade, Module 17, Lesson 2. We will be on pages 404 to 405, and our I can statement is I can subtract a three digit number with regrouping using a concrete model or visual model. Please gather your workbook and a pencil and turn to page 404. We will begin under Build Understanding. A scientist finds 318 bats in a cave. Then 176 bats fly away, which means they leave. How many bats stay in the cave? Part A asks us to make a concrete model to show 318 bats. Draw a visual model to show your work. You can use cubes to show a model of the 318 bats and then come back and draw a visual model with me. So we are going to draw three hundreds, and then we are going to draw one stick for the tens and eight little circles for the ones. So we have drawn three hundreds, one, two, three, one group of 10, one, and eight ones, which is here eight. Okay, now we're going to look at part B. How can you subtract 176 from 318? Well, we have the 318 here. So what we're going to do is we're going to take away the 176. Underneath, it tells us to think, do I need to regroup? Remember, we've done regrouping in the past. We need to show the subtraction in your visual model and remember to show any regrouping. So let's take a look first at the ones column. We see that there are six ones in 176 that we need to take away or subtract from 318. So we're gonna go over to the ones column and we're going to cross out six. Let's do that now. Great, we've crossed out six. Now we're going to go to the tens column and we need to subtract seven groups of 10 from 318. Well, I only see one here. So we are going to need to regroup. We have three of these hundreds. Each one is made up of 10 tens. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take one of these hundreds and cross it out and we're going to regroup and say, instead of 100, we're going to have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten ones. So now, when I look at our model, I see that we have two hundreds, and now we have 11 ones, and we can look at the number 176 and say, okay, we can now subtract seven of those tens. And so we're gonna go ahead and do that now. So let's cross off seven of those tens. Um, we have one here, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, now we are ready to look at the hundreds. We need to subtract one of the hundreds. We have two hundreds, so we're gonna put a X on one of the hundreds. Remember, even though the one on top has a green X, that means it is no longer there. It doesn't have to just be a red X. It can be any color. All right, now we what we have left is we have 100, we have four tens, and we have two ones. So we are going to solve the problem and say that we have 100, four tens or 40 and two ones. So 142 bats stay in the cave. Let's take a look at the next page, page 405. This time they don't give us a word problem, they give us an equation. 424 take away 251 equals a mystery. We're not sure what it equals. So they ask us first to draw a visual model to represent 
424. If you would like to pause and do this by yourself, you may do that and come back to check your answer or just follow along with me. We'll start by drawing the 400. Next, we'll draw the two tens and then we'll draw the four ones. Part B asks, do you need to regroup to solve and explain? Well, I see the number they want us to um, subtract is 251. I can look quickly and see, do I have one to subtract from here? Yes. Do I have five tens to subtract? Ooh, no, I don't. So I can answer, yes, I will need to regroup because I cannot subtract five tens from two tens. Now we're ready for part C, subtract to solve. Draw on your visual model to help you. Remember to record when you regroup. Okay, let's take a look. So we are going to be subtracting 251. We always start with our ones column. We subtract one, one, and then we look to the tens column and there are five. We don't have five to subtract. So we're going to need to regroup. So we'll take our 100 and cross it out. And we know that this 100 is actually 10 tens. So now we have 10 tens showing. And so now we can subtract five tens. One, two, three, four, five. Great job. And then we'll look at the hundreds. We need to subtract two hundreds so we can subtract one, two. All right, what do we have left? We have three ones, we have seven tens, and one hundred. So our answer would be 173. Now let's record. First, we had four ones and we subtracted one. When we did that, we were left with three. So we're going to write the three right here. Then we had two tens right here. We needed to subtract five. We couldn't do that. So what we did was we took this hundred from one of the four, which is here, and we crossed one out. So we're gonna cross out this four and then we had three hundreds left right here. One, two, three, those were left. We took one of the hundreds and we regrouped it and we made 10 tens plus the two we had. So we don't have just two or 10, we have the number 12 all together here. So we're going to write the number 12 up here, which is what we did to regroup. And we cross off the two because we no longer have two tens. Okay, so now we can subtract 12, take away five, which is what we did. We crossed out these five and that let us have seven left over. So we can record that here, seven. The last thing we did was we said there are three hundreds. We need to take away two. So we had uh, three hundreds and we crossed out two of them in red. And what did we have left? We had one. Now let's take a look at the check for understanding. You are welcome to pause the video and try this on your own and come back to check your answer or you can follow along with me. There are 238 large marbles and 145 small marbles in a bag. How many more large marbles than small marbles are there? Make a concrete model or draw a visual model to solve. And then we have this recording, um, what we need to record here. All right, so first thing we're going to do is make that drawing for uh, 238 large marbles. So we're going to go ahead and um, draw that here. So we have 200, we have 30, and we have eight. Okay, and then, which is written here, 238, and then we're going to take away, we're gonna start with the ones, 
145. So we'll start with a five. We can cross out five. And when we take five, here's that five. We had eight, we took five away. What did we get? We got three left over, good. Okay, now we're going to take a look at the tens column, which is four. They want us to take four and we only have three. So we're going to have to regroup. So we take the hundred and we cross it out and we say there isn't a hundred anymore. It's going to be 10 tens. So we do that. And so let's go ahead and record what we're doing over here. So we go to the two hundreds, we cross out that 200. We make only 100 now, which is this one right here. And then we took that 100 and we made 10 tens, but we don't just have 10 tens, we have a three here. So we don't have three anymore. We need to cross that out. What we have is 13 because we have the three tens and the 10 tens here. So now we can say 13, take away four of those. What do we get left? And we'll go ahead and cross out one, two, three, four. And what do we have left? We have nine left. So let's go ahead and record that here. Nice job. Okay, last part. We have, uh, excuse me, of 100. So we have 100 here. We need to go ahead and cross that 100 off. And then we're going to, to look at our um, problem. We had 100. We took away one, and what do we have left? Nothing. So we can leave it blank, or you can write a zero. I'm going to choose to leave it blank. Nice work. As usual, you can always go back and rewatch this video, and you can pause along the way anytime as needed.